Release day is here for Star Wars Unlimited, so let's open up a full booster box of 24 packs. Villa Verikino, living the Star Wars life. Hello there, and thanks for visiting the Villa Verikino YouTube channel. Today is March 8th here in New Zealand, and that is a very exciting day for Star Wars fans because that is the full release day for the trading card game Star Wars Unlimited from Fantasy Flight Games. We attended a pre-release event last week where we were able to open up a few booster packs early. We'll have that full unboxing video linked down below if you want to check out some of that fun. But now today we can get our hands on the full proper booster pack boxes so you can see we have here a spark of rebellion 24 booster packs i am so excited to get my hands on this it was really fun opening up these six packs that came in the pre-release box but six is kind of small i opened up my husband's one just to have a little bit more fun there so 12 plus a couple of bonus packs but still 24 i'm really hoping we have some good fun finds in this box you know you kind of hope you know maybe you know because they're sealed you don't really know what's going to be inside so you just grab one from the store and hope for the best so let's take a closer look at this box we've got this branded Star Wars Unlimited plastic sealing it up and we can see some of the fun art that we'll get a better look at once I take all this plastic off so without further ado I've waited long enough let's get into this box because I really want to get stuck in and open up these cards my family and I are fully on board. You know, our daughter has got a full set now that she is building her deck from. I really can't wait to start playing this. Oh, look at that really cool art. And we can see now that the cellophane's off, we can see that fun black on black gloss print that we saw in the pre-release box. That's really cool. We can see Spark of Rebellion, 24 booster packs with the Fantasy Flight Games logo and the Star Wars logo. This game is recommended for ages 12 and up. We can see we have a Jin Erso in Imperial Disguise on this side. And we have Admiral Akbar because of course this is the first sort of release, Spark of Rebellion. We're generally looking at the original trilogy era and we can see there it's got a little bit of a text talking about the game there. We've got some images of the cards and a cute little Jawa and on the bottom we've got you know standard copyright stuff. And we can see there is a fun Tatooine Twin Sons over the barcode there with the website and everything like that down below. So of course these boxes are designed to be uh, for stores where you can sort of pop that up and turn it into a store display box. I am just going to open this one up carefully for now and get stuck into the cards inside. So really really exciting. So we've got Thrawn, Layer, and Chewbacca are the three types of pack art that these packs come in for the first wave. We can see them really cool there. So I'm going to get all of them out because I'm going to use the box to put all of the wrappers into as I open these all up because they do tend to get everywhere. And it's just fun seeing all of these wonderful packs so I'm gonna go with this Chewbacca one it was the last one on my hand so this is the first one I'm gonna start with so cross our fingers for some awesome pulls in this opening but in terms of characters that I'm really hoping to pull um, I like collecting the female characters so in my first lot I didn't find a Hera or an Aiden Vuzio. So those are characters that I'm really hoping to pull. Okay, so first one we have a Hyperspace of Chewbacca. That's really cool. So Hyperspace is of course where the art goes all the way to the edges and we kind of have these lines like Hyperspace around and it really does add a little bit of extra something to the cards. And then on the reverse we can see that Hyperspace on the other side there as well. Then for our base, we have Dagobah Swamp. And on the reverse is a experience. So there we go. So I'm going to run through the cards. System Patrol Craft. Open Fire. Very cool Stormtroopers. Recruit. I like that poster. Very cool. Wilderness Fighter. Green Squadron A-Wing. 
merchant oh sorry mercenary company that's quite cool snapshot reflexes we've got the mandalorian there looking really cool lothal insurgent Ooh, another hyperspace we have confiscate that's really quite cool so of course for the cards that are not double-sided like the leader and base we just have the standard back so the hyperspace other cards they don't have like anything extra on the back but yes so now we are into the uncommons hard point heavy blaster rally and cry oh another hyperspace oh this one's upside down okay our protector oh that's really cool okay a hyperspace uncommon and no i don't have that card cool for a cause i believe in so this is a rare and that looks like cassian andor i know i don't have that one that's really cool and the last pack in every pack is a foil card which is going to be seasoned shore trooper that is a common card but i do not have this one that looks really cool I love the foil effects and I love the fact that you get one in every pack. So the packs are really reasonably priced here in New Zealand and you get 16 cards and we get some really cool ones like foils and hyperspace. And of course, the rarest one of all that everyone is hoping to be able to pull in one of their boxes is a showcase. Now, those are special variants with different art only available for leader cards. So wouldn't it be amazing if I was able to find one? fingers crossed they are exceedingly rare so not exceedingly likely but who knows maybe maybe the force will be with me today okay let's see what we've got in this one we have Leia Organa she was one of the characters I was really hoping to pull in my pre-release box and I did finally pull her I was so excited about that we can see her there as she wears her outfit on Hoth and that is the reverse side very cool and we have another Dagobah swamp I will say you will end up with quite a few bases because you get one in every pack and there are slightly less of them some of the, some of the other cards but that's okay because uh, you do want them to match with your leaders so it is uh, good to just have a few to choose from there so and we have a shield on the back of this one okay working through the commons wilderness fighter open fire we've got some similar cards to my last pack Pers mercenary company oh restored arc 170 very nice infiltrator skill well that's the Genoso art from the box very cool i want her as a leader though very cool lethal insurgent confiscate this is a really similar pack okay disarm very cool oh a hyperspace of vanguard infantry that's really cool and i love the ones where it's like a little bit more sort of action-packed so those lines kind of really give it some motion there it really looks like it's sort of adding to his blaster fire that is a common but yeah it would be so fun to try and build up a whole deck with hyperspace cards because they look really cool fighters for freedom this is an uncommon now we're going into the uncommons devotion we've got luke and yoda there training on dagobah that is really nice okay we have another uncommon bamboozle where we have han solo sort of trying to trick his way on the death star okay so we have a rare the emperor's legion look at those stormtroopers that looks really cool i love the art on these cards okay and let's see what our foil is it is a foil hyperspace of green squadron a wing look at that that is really cool so you know i love the foils but a foil hyperspace just has that little bit of extra oomph doesn't it going all the way to the edges that just looks so pretty oh that's exciting you're always guaranteed a foil but not necessarily a foil hyperspace so that's always fun to see that's like a double bonus okay on to the next pack okay so let's see what our leader is we have boba fett very nice he is a common leader and on the other side we can see that art there looking very cool our base is catacombs of kadera that is a common and on the reverse we have a shield so let's move through the commons 
Consortium Star Viper. Death Trooper, that's really cool. Wampa, I love that one. He's really cool. Super Laser Technician. Alliance X-Wing. Repair. ISB Agent. Corellian Freighter. It's like a mix between the Millennium Falcon and the Ghost, isn't it? That's really cool. Jawa Scavenger. Force Throw. Ooh, this is an uncommon. I don't have this one. I've got some really cool art of Vader sort of throwing things at Luke on Cloud City in the Empire Strikes Back. I haven't seen this one in person before. That's really neat. I like that. Force Throw. Nice. That'd be a really nice one to have in um, like a foil. I think that'd look really cool. Kanan Jarrus, cool. He is a uncommon. My first openings, I had a bit of a Rebels theme going on. I got quite a few characters from the Rebels animated show, so I think that's fun. We have the uncommon Bib Fortuna. We have a rare, this is Red 3. That is really fun. I don't think I have this one. I like that you're guaranteed like at least something a little bit more um, harder to find and we can see that some of the rare cards and like legendaries and things like that have this little sort of hologram sticker so you can sort of authenticate it and let's see our foil is seventh fleet defender now this is a common card but that looks really nice we can see that foil there I will say some of the starfighters against the darker starfield behind them, the foil isn't quite as visible, but we can sort of see it in like the blaster fire and the red details. So that's a really fun one. I haven't noticed too many doubles ups in my foils so far. So that's really fun too. Okay, next pack. Okay, let's see. Starting with the leader. A layer! Hyperspace! Yay! She goes all the way to the end. That's really nice. Oh, that's exciting. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to pull her in a hyperspace. Yes. Oh, that's really exciting. She looks great. I love that art going all the way to the edge. I'm so excited. That looks really cool. Oh, she's going to have to go in a sleeve, definitely. That's a really good one. Then we have Catacombs of Kadera as our base with experience on the back. Moving through the commons now, we have 21B Surgical Droid, Disabling Fang Fighter, Strike True, We've got Luke in Return of the Jedi there, System Patrol Craft, Green Squadron A-Wing, Recruit, Waylay, we've got the heroes getting captured on Endor, ooh, Snowtrooper Lieutenant, that's really cool. I know these aren't hyperspace, but the lines around the edges looks like just sort of really, uh, really accents that art. That's really nice. Okay. And we have Snapshot Reflexes featuring the Mandalorian. We have Into the Uncommons now, Cantina Bouncer. Blizzard Assault 8080 or at, at depending on how you pronounce that one. Oh, we have an upside down hyperspace of General Tag. And here's an uncommon. I love how it's like the hyperspace lines are really sort of accentuating his uh, frustration there. <laughs> Looks like he's really angrily thumping the desk. That's cool. Oh, I have the unit of Emperor Palpatine and he is a rare. I do not have this card. That is so cool. Look at his face. Ah, oh, wouldn't it be amazing to have this one in a foil? Can you imagine the, the force lightning? Ah, oh, that's cool. I do not have that card. And my foil, this is amazing, is the Frontline Shuttle. And now this is a rare card. I don't even think I have this in a normal one. 
Can you see how rainbowed that looks? Because the background is really pale on this art. That just looks amazing. Oh, that's so cool. And because it's a rare, it's got that little hologram authentic authentication sticker there. Oh, that's an exciting pull. That's really nice. Oh, we're getting some fun ones already. And I've got so many packs left to go. This is fun. Okay, into the next pack. We have Grandmoff Tarkin. Very cool. And on the back we have the same art there. It's looking very sinister. Our base is Echo Base on Hoth. Classic Star Wars location with a shield on the back. Okay, moving into the commons. Restored Arc 170. Infiltrator skill. This pack is taunting me with these Genoso art. Come on, I want to pull her as a leader. But still very cool. Battlefield Marine. Rebel Pathfinder. Make an opening. Oh, that's cool. I love the, the sort of action and movement depicted in some of these art pieces. Really nice. Cantina Braggart. Having a wrestling match there. Confiscate. Outer Rim Headhunter. Cell Block Guard. Very cool art there of a Stormtrooper. We're into the uncommons now. I have the ghost. That's really cool. I love the Rebels animated show. Really happy to have that one in my collection. Oh, smuggling compartment. I haven't seen this one. This is an uncommon. That's fun. I know it's a picture of boxes, but it's always fun to get a card you don't have yet in your collection. Now we have Admiral Piet. Good if you want to run some Imperials. Avenger. This is a legendary. Oh, I think this is my first legendary pull. Oh, that's awesome, isn't it? Yes, my first legendary pull. Okay, and let's see what my foil is. Attack Pattern Delta, and this is a uncommon foil, but look at those walkers on Hoth. They look great. See, the light colors really shine with that foil finish, don't they? That's nice. I like that one. Cool. Okay, let's go for a Thrawn pack this time. Let's see. I know the wrappers don't have any bearing on the cards inside, but, you know, sometimes I get a little bit superstitious about these sorts of things. Okay, let's see. We have a Sabine Arin leader. So I did get her in my uh, pre-release packs. But I really like her. That's so cool. And on the back, she has the same art. There we go. And so my base here is Command Center from the Death Star as a common base. And on the back, we have a shield token. Okay, moving through the commons. Cantina Braggart. Vanguard Infantry. Alliance X-Wing, Repair, Wampa, Super Laser Technician, Jawa Scavenger, Swoop Racer. I know I got this one in my first pack, but I think that that looks cool. I love the movement in it. And TIE Fighter. I love the art on this. They have used this particular art for the TIE Fighter and the X-Wing card across some of the accessories range. Like this art is used on the soft boxes and the gaming mat that you can buy as from the officially licensed accessories for this line. I think that is fantastic art for the TIE Fighter. Okay, moving into the uncommons, we have Shoot First featuring Han Solo. Very nice. Okay, we have Bright Hope, a rebel ship. 
force choke isn't that cool this is uncommon but i don't i don't have this card i have not seen this art in person before oh darth vader looks awesome in this one that's nice isn't it force choke really cool okay i have bail organa and he is a rare if you're going to build a rebel team it's fun to have Bail Organa. I love him in all of the different franchises where he shows up. I think this is his Rogue One outfit. He has a few different ones. I think that might be his one from Rogue One. And my foil is Rugged Survivors. This is a common, but that's still a really fun foil, isn't it? Okay, some fun ones in there. Let's go for another Thrawn pack. Okay, I've still got quite a pile of cards to go through. This is exciting. Okay, let's see. I like the back of the cards too, with the tiny little X wing flying across the top. Okay, we have a Leia Organa in a standard format. She is a common, so, you know, of course I'm going to pull a few of her. Very nice. Okay, and my base is Capital City from Lothal, and this is a common base with a shield on the back. Okay, let's move through the commons. Cargo Juggernaut, Spec Force Soldier, Steadfast Battalion, Vigilant Honor Guards, Jitter Agitator, Oh, Snowspeeder, classic, original trilogy. Very nice. Uh, Liberator Gunship. <laughs> I know I'm not going to mispronounce that one if I try and say it. Very cool. We have Underworld Thug. Surprise Strike with Director Critic from Rogue One here. Very cool. Power of the Dark Side. Now this is the Uncommons now. I really like this card. I know it's it's only an Uncommon, but I think it's really cool. It looks like Darth Vader when he's uh, marching down that corridor at the end of Rogue One. Very scary. Okay, now we have Greedo as an Uncommon. He is a unit here. Rebel Assault. Very nice. Are all the ships attacking the Star Destroyer in that art. Really cool. Oh, so now I have the standard of the Frontline Shuttle. The other one I had as a foil. This is a rare. Because, of course, for most cards in the game, you can have up to three in your deck. So it doesn't matter too much getting doubles. And sometimes it's fun to have the variants as well. Okay, and my foil in this pack is Cantina Braggart. And this is a common there we go. Fun foil, isn't it? Okay, let's go for Chewbacca this time. So satisfying opening up these packs too. Okay, we have IG-88 as our leader card. I love the sort of the, the warm glow lighting on him. It's very fun. And this is the opposite side. Very nice. And my base card is Kestro City from Vardos. This is a common. I want to see like some of the harder to find bases. We have a shield on the back. I think I've got most of the commons. I want to like, you know, maybe get like a rare base. That would be really nice. First Legion, a snow trooper. Let's go through the commons. Vanguard Infantry. Cloud City Wingard. Keep fighting. I've got this one before. That poor clone trooper surrounded by battle droids. Alliance Dispatcher. Gamorrean Guards. That's a fun one. TIE Fighter. I love that art every time I see it. Crafty Smuggler. Gladiator Star Destroyer, and this is a hyperspace. That's a really cool one to get as a hyperspace. Because we're in space. That is so cool. Love that one. 
Okay, then we have Colonel Yularen. Here's an uncommon. We have Zeb Aurelius. I think he's so fun. I love his vibrant colors here. Here's also an uncommon. We have General Veers. Very nice. Especially if you're going to run like a whole Imperial crew. He's an uncommon. Then we have Del Mico. He is a, oh, he's a rare. Nice. Cool angle there. And our foil for this one is Snowtrooper Lieutenant. The light colors really pick up that foil, don't they? That's really neat. Cool. Okay. Moving on to another Chewbacca pack. Let's go. Okay. Put that over there. Okay. We have a standard Chewbacca common card. I love the art for Chewbacca. He's so fun. And then the art on the reverse. Very cool. Okay. My base is chopper base. And the back is experience. We have Battlefield Marine, Rebel Pathfinder, Make an Opening. I love the movement there. First Legion Snow Trooper. These are all the uncommons. Consortium Star Viper. Death Trooper, love the pose there, looking really cool. Cell Block Guard, very cool. ISB Agent, Karelian Freighter, Attack Pattern Delta, we're into the Uncommon now. Force Throw, ooh, I love this card. Got another one that's an Uncommon, very cool art there. I want a foil of it. 8080 Suppressor. Another uncommon. Ooh, we have, this is my very first rare base. So that's really cool. We have the security complex from the Scarif. That's really cool. So a rarer base. Most of the standard bases you get at the start of the pack have sort of 30 hit points for the base. These ones that are rarer have 25, so they're perhaps a little bit easier, uh, you know, less hit points to defeat, but they have an epic action. So there's kind of a trade-off. Less health, but it's got some, you know, boosts there. That's really cool. That is my first base that's like not been in the standard base. And for, oh, what is this one? This is a legendary <gasps> super laser blast legendary foil look at that defeat all units really is that what that says defeat all units <laughs> just booms death star blast to destroy everyone oh my gosh oh i wonder oh i wonder how on earth you play that like oh my gosh <laughs> that looks like a such a fun card okay that is a really fun pull legendary and a foil oh my gosh defeat all units <laughs> oh my gosh okay that was a really fun one okay let's get into the layer packs here so i'm still really fingers crossed i can find a hera i really want a hera okay we have sabine close not quite but she's still very cool. Okay, and then we have the reverse side, looking amazing. And for my base, we have a hyperspace echo base. I love this way, the way this one looks full to the edge. And that hyperspace just really looks amazing around the edges. That bright white snow just looks really cool all the way. Very nice. And then the back, of course, we're going to have hyperspace back and then we have shield very cool that is a really nice card okay we have gladiator star destroyer we're going to go through the commons resilient we've got a snow a snow speeder there death star stormtrooper escort skiff scout bike pursuer ATST, we've got some good Imperial cards here. 
Seventh Fleet Defender. Very nice. Frontier, ATRT. That's cool. Got a little bit of a prequel uh, vehicle here. It's kind of fun. Ooh, a hyperspace moment of peace. So we have Yoda with his soup. Very fun. I like how it's kind of giving me like action lines and he's just eating soup. <laughs> okay, ooh, we have a fifth brother as my uncommon here as a unit. That's really nice. Take down. I love the art for this. That kick to the head. Boof. Uncommon card. Chewbacca as a unit. Nice. He is an uncommon. It's fun, the different art styles. He's different to the leader card. Oh, bombing run. And this is a rare. We've got all those Y wings there doing a bombing run. That is so cool. Bombing run. And then my foil. Ooh, no good to me dead. We have Han and Carbonite as a foil. And this is a uncommon. That's really fun. I love seeing all the different cards and foil variants. It's really fun to see. Okay, I'm going to go for a Chewbacca pack this time. I know it doesn't make any difference. I'm just trying to space them out. Okay, so let's see. What are we going to get for the leader this time? We have, oh, a Han Solo. This one is a rare. That's fun. And he's got the foil there for the leader card. And on the reverse, we have that same art. Really nice. Cool. Okay, for my base, we have Administrator's Tower, Cloud City. This is a common. And we have experience on the reverse. Okay, let's move through the commons. Ardent Sympathizer. Academy Training. That's from Rebels. That's quite fun. That looks like quite intense training if you've ever watched that episode. Moment of Peace. We have Yoda with his soup. Regional Sympathizers. Wow, that's really cool, isn't it? So much action going on there. Gorilla Attack Pod. Patrolling V-Wing. Waylay. Syndicate Lackeys. Maximum Firepower with some fabulous 8080s there. Looking up at them. That's really cool. We're into the Uncommons now. Overwhelming Barrage. Getting a lot of Imperial ones in this, in this card pack. Sabine Wren as a unit. With some of her iconic Rebels graffiti behind her. Very nice. That's cool. We have Protector. Ooh, a Saul Guerrera. And he is a rare. Nice. <laughs> Extremist. Very cool. And my foil is Wilderness Fighter. And that is a common card, but I still love the foils. Hands up in the comments if you're going to try and build a full foil pack deck. Like, <laughs> that'd be quite a feat, but I can, I can see the appeal. I think that that would be really fun. Just, they look so pretty in foils. Okay, let's see who my leader is. We have Director Krennic. Nice. I think this is my first Krennic. I love this character. Very cool. And he is a common. But strangely enough, I don't think I've pulled him yet. So there we go. Very nice art. Okay, and my base is Command Center as a common from the Death Star. With a experience token on the back. Okay, let's move through the commons now. Guardian of the Wills. Guerrilla Attack Pod. Homestead Militia. A wounded Stormtrooper in the back. Consular Security Force. As we see them at the start of A New Hope or perhaps at the end of Rogue One. Fleet Lieutenant. <laughs> They're like matching cards. That's fun. 
straight after each other. Rogue Operative. I'm getting like a bit of a Rebels themed pack here. This is fun. Oh, Volunteer Soldier. These are like the ones on Naboo in The Phantom Menace. It's fun getting a little bit of a prequel theme here. Disarm. Oh, Hyperspace. Green Squadron A-Wing. That is a common card, but the Starfighters always do look good in the Hyperspace Borderless variant. Really nice there. Okay. Reinforcement Walker. We're into the uncommons now. These are the ones from Rogue One that we see on Scarif. You can see with the palm trees behind them. Starwing Scout. Really nice. Lieutenant Childson. Here's an uncommon. Traitorous. Oh, we have Barasofi here for the Traitorous card, and she is a rare. And my foil is Disarm, which is a common but still a cool action pose there with the blaster flying out of his hand. Very cool. Okay, time for a Thrawn pack. Okay. Still got quite a few packs to go. Still got time to pull something cool. Okay, let's see. Ooh, a hyperspace of IG-88. Look at that, all the way to the borders. Nice. My husband is a big fan of IG-88. He's going to be very excited to have the hyperspace version of this leader card. And then we can see on the back. Very nice. I love the really sort of warm tones here. It's so sinister. Okay, cool. And for the base, we have Echo Base from Hoth in the standard version. Because we recently got it in that hyperspace borderless variation. We've got the common experience. Okay, let's move through the commons. Vanquish. I love the art for this. It's just absolutely getting fried. <laughs> All that force lightning there. Occupy a siege tank. Echo Base Defender. Guardian of the Wills, Partisan Insurgent, Fleet Lieutenant, Disarm, <laughs> Standard Version, I just got the foil, Rogue Operative, oh, <laughs> Rogue Operative and then the Hyperspace version of Rogue Operative directly after it, that's kind of fun. You can really see the difference. I mean, I like the art of the standard cards, but oh, those hyperspace versions just look just look cool, don't they? Okay. And I'm getting tangled here. Okay. Ezra Bridger. I don't think I have Ezra. He's one of my missing Rebels crew. Cool. He is a unit and he is a uncommon. Cool. So now I'm just missing Hera. Come on. The force must be with me. I must get Hera because now I have everyone else. Attack Pattern Delta, that is an uncommon, with that cool sort of Hoth battle scene there, very cool. Ooh, Pirated Starfighter, this is a uncommon. I don't know if I've seen this one, I love that hyperspace border. I think this is perhaps new to me, I don't think I have this one. Or I don't, maybe it's just the hyperspace borders that are throwing me off, I don't think I've seen it in hyperspace, that's really cool. Starships always do look really good in the hyperspace. Okay, oh, we have Jabba the Hutt. That's fun. He is a rare. We can see the art. We've got Bib Fortuna off to the side, Salacious Crumb, and C-3PO, his translator in the back. Oh, that's fun. I love his art. That's so fun. Okay, and our foil is... <gasps> You're my only hope. Oh, it's Princess Leia and R2-D2, and this is a rare in a foil version oh i love it that's so pretty so excited i love trying to collect the ones with leia and some of my favorite female characters so that's a really nice card oh that's really cool oh some good pulls in that one okay on to the next pack okay let's see 
we have another Chewbacca and the art on the reverse okay we have a hyperspace administrators tower from cloud city this is a common base but very nice hyperspace version there and we have the shield token on the back okay let's run through the commons mission briefing as we see towards the end of a new hope echo base defender rugged survivors Precision fire. Ooh, nice stormtrooper out there. Nice. Resupply. Oh, I've got Hera on one card. I just need her in a leader. Oh, that's fun though. Seeing some more rebels art in this pack. Very cool. Academy defense walker, also from rebels. That's fun. Ooh, Viper Probe Droid. Very cool. Bounty Hunter Crew. Restock. And we're into our uncommons now. Wing Leader. Nice, vibrant. I reckon this would look really nice in a foil. All that lovely bright blue background. No good to me, dead. I got the foil of this before. That's fun. This is an uncommon. Rogue Squadron Skirmisher. This would look really good in a hyperspace, I think. Just the motion there. Relentless. This is a rare Imperial Capital Ship. Nice. That is really cool art. I haven't seen that one in person before. And my foil is Don't Get Cocky with Luke Skywalker in the sort of the gunner position on the Millennium Falcon. And this is a rare. That's fun. It's fun to get both like a rarer card as well as a foil. That sort of double combo makes it extra special out of that whole pack. I love how the foiling even goes up around the text. Really cool. Okay, on to a layer pack. paper over there <clears throat> okay let's see oh we have Boba Fett as our leader he is a common and there is his art on the reverse and we have a hyperspace of a capital city on Lethal again a common card but it is fun to have the hyperspace variants because you really only need one base for your deck but if you can find like a really nice variant of it that's always fun and we have a shield token on the back okay let's move through the common cards cloud city wing guard i'm gonna have to tidy up my pile here in a minute spec force soldier steadfast battalion cargo juggernaut i love those Vehicles. Keep fighting. Escort skiff. Surprise strike. Liberator gunship. Ooh, a hyperspace of resilient. That's really fun. really nice Ooh, a tie advanced oh i don't think i've seen this one in person that's really nice oh i would love to see a hyperspace of this one look at those blaster fire oh that's really cool okay this one is an uncommon we have distant patroller another starfighter card they do look cool don't they and this one is an uncommon Oh, Cartel Spacer. I don't think I've seen this one before either. I'm getting some really fun cards. I know I didn't open up a full 24 packs in my pre-release box, but it is really fun to go through and find cards I haven't seen before. Okay, we have the standard version of Don't Get Cocky. This is a rare. 
and my foil is the forces with me and we have Chirrut from Rogue One towards the end of the film and this is a uncommon that's really fun okay on to the next pack we've still got quite a few to go still got time to get some really cool legendary pulls okay oh we have a hyperspace rare of emperor palpatine as a leader okay that is awesome i have not seen this card it's a rare he's a leader version and it's a hyperspace i'm so excited oh doesn't he look sinister that is awesome oh yeah cool i was really hoping we'd start to get some leaders that i haven't pulled before awesome so creepy awesome okay and our base is capital city from lethal as a common version a standard border with experience on the back oh i'm so chuffed about that emperor palpatine okay let's go through the commons vigilant honor guard Jedi Agitator, Alliance Dispatcher, Snowspeeder, Resilient, Underworld Thug, Gamorian Guards, ATST, I can just see a hyperspace peeking out, Syndicate Lackeys, hyperspace, common but very cool. Pike Syndicate here. 97th Legion is our uncommon. Start of the uncommons. That's fun, isn't it? Very cool. Keeping the peace on Sullust. Nice. Forced Surrender. Oh, it's the card that's got Padme on it. On Naboo from the end of The Phantom Menace. When she uh, takes capture of Nuke Gunray. Really cool, uncommon card. Fun. It's just a personal little favorite for me because it's got Padme on it. We've got Energy Conversion Lab. This is a uncommon base. So as we can see, we have 25 hit points instead of 30, and it has an epic action. Wow, that looks really cool, isn't it? This is Edu. Nice, and nothing on the back because this is a sort of rare base so it doesn't have that token on the back okay so we have cunning this is a legendary and we have young han solo with his sabak cards i assume here that's pretty cool i have not seen this card in person before another legendary pull okay and my foil is cell block guard oh Classic stormtroopers, you can't beat them. They just look so good in foil, don't they? That white armor looks so cool. And that is a common, but awesome to have a foil stormtrooper there. Okay, gonna go for a Thrawn pack next. Still got a few to go. Ah, pack didn't rip so well there. Okay, let's see. We have Cassian Andor, and he is a rare. I'm finally getting some cool rare leaders. Excellent. Oh, he looks great. Oh, that's exciting. Cool. Okay. And there is his art on the back. I loved the Andor series. I think that that is a really cool card. So excited to have him in my collection. Okay. So our base is Kestro City. Oh, whoops, <laughs> with a experience token on the back. Okay, let's move through the commons. Death Star Stormtrooper, iconic as always. Academy Training. Scout Bike Pursuer. Ardent Sympathizer. I love the motion on this card, it looks so fun. Regional Sympathizers. Patrolling V-Wing. Seventh Fleet Defender. Frontier ATRT. 
Syndicate Lackeys. Now we're into the Uncommons. The Force is with me. Pirated Starfighter, standard version. Overwhelming Barrage. Fitz Fire Spray. Now this is a rare. That's fun. So yeah, if you control Boba Fett, <laughs> ready this unit. So that'll be fun if you want to run Boba Fett in your deck. That's a fun one. And my foil is Genoso. Uh, Infiltrator's Skill. This is a common card. But yeah, I love Jin. It's really fun to see a foil version of her. I really need her as a leader card though. But excited to get a foil version of artwork of her nonetheless. Very cool. Okay, on to a layer pack now. I love the art on these. So cool. I always feel mean kind of ripping these open, but I just can't wait to see what's inside. Okay, let's see. Ooh, Grand Admiral Thrawn, and he is a rare. I'm pretty sure I have not pulled this, because that looks pretty cool. Ah, uh, I love Thrawn. That's fun. I'm glad to have him for my collection. And then we have his art again on the reverse. Really cool. Okay, and for the base, we have Chopper Base. It's a common with a shield token on the back. Okay, let's move through the commons. We have Disabling Fang Fighter, Strike True, featuring Luke Skywalker there. 2-1-B Surgical Droid. Imperial Interceptor. That is fun art, isn't it? The ships do look really good. Medal Ceremony with the heroes from the end of New Hope. That's fun. Seasoned Shore Trooper. He looks so cool. Fighting on Scarif. Swoop Racer. Asteroid Sanctuary. Snowtrooper Lieutenant. Ooh, we're into the Uncommons now. Ruthless Raider. Imperial Capital Ship. That's really fun, isn't it? Entrenched. That looks like some of the scenes from Solo. Bosk as a unit card. That's fun. This is my first Bosk card. This is an uncommon. That's really cool. I haven't seen this one in person. Awesome. Underworld Bounty Hunter. Okay. And my next one is Strafing Gunship. This is a rare. That's fun. And my foil is... Mining Guild TIE Fighter. This is a common. But this, oh, it's a, it's a foil hyperspace. Yes, of course. Oh, that's awesome. All the way to the edge. That foiling just looks amazing when it's on a full hyperspace borderless card, isn't it? Awesome. Cool. Some fun ones in there. Got some cards I didn't have. Like Bosk. I'm still really excited about that Emperor Palpatine. We've still got maybe five packs after this, I think. Okay, so my leader is Genuso. Kind of surprised I haven't pulled her from this box already. She is a common card. And I do love her character. That's really cool. I love the art for this one. I would love to see it in a hyperspace, but I think she looks really cool. And there is... The other side with the little foil. Very cool. Okay, and my base is Chopper Base. Common card with the experience token on the back. So let's move through the common cards. Whoops. <laughs> uh, tactical advantage. Some explosions going on there in the background. Consular Security Force. Mission Briefing, 
Homestead Militia, Rugged Survivors, Imperial Interceptor, Volunteer Soldier from Naboo, very cool, Swoop Racer, Viper Probe Droid, now we're into the Uncommons, Benthic Two Tubes, which you'll probably remember from Rogue One, very cool, we have Inferno 4, There's another Uncommon, more awesome TIE Fighter art there, General Dodonna is a unit card, he is a Uncommon, Devastator, this is a legendary, okay that's cool, Devastator, Imperial Capital Ship, that's awesome isn't it, okay and I can see some hyperspace here, my foil is Restock, which is a common, but it is always exciting when you get a foil and it's a hyperspace foil, kind of adds that little bit extra to it doesn't it, very cool, very shiny, okay, Chewbacca pack, I think I'm down to four packs after this, so we've still got time for a cool pull, okay, let's see, we have Boba Fett, common leader card, there is the reverse, okay, and my base is Catacombs of Kadera, a common one, with a experience token on the back. So let's move through the commons. We have Resupply with Hera and Sabine, Academy Defense Walker, Precision Fire with that really cool Stormtrooper on it, Metal Ceremony, Seasoned Shore Trooper, 2-1-B Surgical Droid, Bounty Hunter Crew, Restock Supply, and Snapshot Reflexes, that awesome Mando one. Okay, now we're into the Uncommons here. Cartel Spacer, Mon Mothma as a unit, nice. She is an uncommon, love the art of her, this looks like her Return of the Jedi outfit here, very nice, Voice of the Rebellion, I like collecting the female characters, we have R R Ruthless Raider, sorry, uh, that is an uncommon, very cool, ooh, I have a base, this is a rare base, this is Tarkin Town on Lothal from the animated series Rebels, so that has 25 hit points and an epic action, that's so fun, I'm finally getting some different bases and my foil is the standard common card academy training, also from Rebels, that's fun. Cool, I've got a couple of different bases to choose from now that aren't the common ones. I was kind of hoping that I'd get some of those rarer ones as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to, I'm going to have to sort of really practice and see if I like the fact that they have sort of less hit points, so we'll have to see how I feel about playing those ones. Aiden Vizio, I finally got her, she is a rare leader, she was one of the ones that was on my wish list. Her and Hera are ones that I was really hoping to add to my collection for the female character leaders. Oh, so excited. Okay, look at her art. Ah, that is really cool. Ah, oh, that's exciting. Had to wait till almost the end until I pulled her, but that's, that's awesome. Look at that. Oh, firing her blaster. That's awesome. Yay! Can add her to my collection and my base is Dagobah Swamp, a common card. Don't know that I'd necessarily choose Dagobah Swamp as a base but it'd be interesting to see how it plays and we have shield there on the back. 
Okay, going through the commons. Disabling Fang Fighter. Strike True. System Patrol Craft. Green Squadron A-Wing. Recruit. Wilderness Fighter. Asteroid Sanctuary. Snow Trooper Lieutenant. That's such cool art. Mining Guild TIE Fighter. I have Yoda as a unit. Looking rather peaceful there in his hut on Dagobah. He is a uncommon. We're into the uncommons now. Cantina Bouncer. General Tag. Sneak Attack. Oh, this features the Millennium Falcon. This is a rare. It's kind of fun. Sneaking up behind Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, I guess. <laughs> That's really cool. I haven't seen this one in person before. Another new card for my collection. And let's see, my foil is Cartel Spacer. And that is a uncommon. That's cool. I'm never going to get bored of seeing those foils. Okay, I have three packs left. Ooh, crossing my fingers for something cool. Okay, let's see. We have Grand Moff Tarkin in a hyperspace variant of this common card. Very cool. Okay. And that is his art there on the reverse. Okay. We have Kestro City as our base. With the experience on the back. Now let's move through our common cards. Rebel Pathfinder. Make an opening. First Legion Snow Trooper. Consortium Star Viper. Death Trooper. Cantina Braggart. Cell Block Guard. ISB Agent, Carillion Freighter, we're into the Uncommons now, Vanguard Ace, that's cool X-Wing art isn't that? Prepare for takeoff, <laughs> more X-Wing art, very cool. Ooh, for Surrender again, always excited to see Padme. Really hope to see her added to the game as a leader card in the future. This is an uncommon card. Jedi lightsaber. Cool. This is a rare. I think this is my first one of this card. Really cool. Item, weapon, lightsaber. Awesome. And my foil is Vanquish. Now this is the Force Lightning, I just think looks so amazing in the foil effect. Oh, look at that. It's like, you can almost imagine it, like the lightning coursing through that poor person. Whoosh. Awesome. I love that one in foil. Okay. Two packs left. I'm going to go for the left one. Okay. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, something cool. Or... Even just a card I don't have already. Okay, let's see. Jin Urso, <laughs> again. Standard format, common card, and the reverse. Okay, Administrator's Tower on Cloud City is my common base with a shield on the back. Okay, let's move through the commons. Moment of Peace. With Yoda and his soup. Occupy a siege tank. Gladiator Star Destroyer. Vanquish. Standard version. See, the foils just really add something to it, don't they? So cool. Partisan Insurgent. Tactical Advantage. Mining Guild TIE Fighter. 
maximum firepower, crafty smuggler, carabast <laughs> featuring Zeb of course, this is our first uncommon, Baze Malbus as a unit, nice, from Rogue One of course, Looking very good. Temple Guardian is his description there. Nice. Vanguard Ace. Emperor's Royal Guard as a unit. So I can put them with my Emperor Palpatine leader. This is a rare card. That's really cool. I have not got this one before. So that is a new addition. That's nice. And my foil is... 8080 suppressor fun and that is a uncommon okay so the moment of truth my very last pack saved a layer one for last wish me luck let's see what i'll get in this very last pack come on something cool maybe a hera don't even want to Think that I might even be lucky enough to get a showcase. Let's go. Okay, we have Grand Moff Tarkin here. He is a common leader, standard card with the art on the reverse side there. We have Catacombs of Kadera in a hyperspace version of this common card. Looks very cool with that art all the way to the edge. And we have also on the back the hyperspace shield, which is fun. Let's move through the commons. We have open fire with stormtroopers, mercenary company, restored arc 170, infiltrators skill, battlefield marine, Confiscate, Lothal Insurgent, Surprise Strike, I always think that one's fun, Jetta Agitator in a hyperspace variant all the way to the edges, very nice, Carabast, Baze Malbus again, we're into the uncommons, oh we have here a hyperspace Fighters for Freedom is a uncommon. Search your feelings. Now this is a rare. This is the scene in Empire Strikes Back where Luke goes into the dark side cave and has the vision. That's really fun. I haven't seen this card in person before. That's really cool. The smoking helmet exposing Luke's face. That is awesome. Search your feelings. That's cool. Okay, and my very, very, very last card is the Foil of Rebel Pathfinder. And that is a common. So, I knew I probably wouldn't be lucky enough to find a showcase, but I'm just going to do a sort through of all of these amazing cards and pull out oh, all of my favorites and sort of the rare ones. And we'll do a breakdown of kind of the odds of what I got out of this booster box of 24 packs. So let's sort all these and take a look. Wow, I had so much fun opening up 24 packs and seeing all the amazing cards that I got. So now that I've sorted through them, I'm just going to quickly go through. I've got the rares, the foils, the hyperspace and the legendaries. Now because sometimes you get hyperspace foils and legendary foils, there is a little bit of overlap. But I'll put some graphics on the screen towards the end to sort of show you a little bit of the breakdown of some of the sort of different combinations of rarities that we got so of course as you can see zero showcases better luck next time I guess so I'm gonna go through the rares I got so I have Traitorous, Bale Organa, Red 3, Emperor Palpatine as a unit, the Emperor's Legion, love that art, For a Cause I Believe In, Frontline Shuttle, 
Del Mico, a rare base security complex from Scarif, Jumper of the Hut, Relentless, don't get cocky. Another rare base, Tarkin Town. And then, of course, the rare hyperspace Emperor Palpatine. I'm going to put that one aside for contender for one of my favorite pulls. Jedi Lightsaber. Bombing Run. Han Solo Leader Card. Saw Guerrera, Fitz Fire Spray, Grand Admiral Thrawn Leader Card, really cool, I love the artwork for that one, Cassian Andor Leader Card, Strafing Gunship, Emperor's Royal Guard to go with my Emperor, Aiden Verzio as a leader, she's going to go in my pile of possible best favorites sneak attack and search your feelings which is such a cool one i love that one okay so those were all of the rares i got so let's take a look at the foils because there is a guaranteed foil in every pack seventh fleet defender rugged survivors we have a hyperspace foil here, Frontline Shuttle. That one is also a rare. Probably should have put that one in my rare pile, but this one is a contender for favorite card. So I'm going to put that one off to the side. Green Squadron A Wing. Seasoned Shore Trooper. Attack Pattern Delta. Snow Trooper Lieutenant. You're my only hope. That one is also a rare, so that one goes in my pile for contender for best pull because it's got Princess Leia on it. Don't get cocky, that is also a rare. The Forces with Me, Soul Block Guard, Academy Training. Restock Supply, which you can see is a foil hyperspace all the way to the edges. Vanquish. I absolutely love this foil. No Good to Me Dead. Wilderness Fighter. Disarm. Infiltrator's Skill. Mining Guild TIE Fighter. Again, a hyperspace foil all the way to the edges. 8080 Suppressor. Cartel Spacer. And Rebel Pathfinder. So let's take a look at my just regular hyperspace versions here. We have, oh, also this is a rare one. Energy Conversion Lab as a base. So that's one of those special ones that doesn't have a token on the back. We have the Hyperspace Grab Moff Tarkin leader card. Of course, a leader has hyperspace on the back as well, which is fun. Syndicate Lackeys. Resilient. Vanguard Infantry. And this one is also a candidate for one of my favorites. This is the Hyperspace Leader card for Leia Organa. I love that. And of course, all the way to the edge on the other side as well. The Hyperspace General Tag. Confiscate. Chewbacca Leader card. With the Hyperspace on the back there as well. Moment of Peace. Green Squadron A-Wing, the leader card for IG-88 in hyperspace, it's really awesome, Rogue Operative, Pirated Starfighter, the Hyperspace Base Administrator's Tower from Cloud City, 
and the hyperspace shield token on the back capital city hyperspace with another shield token echo base in hyperspace with another shield token on the back i have jitta agitator another hyperspace base catacombs of kadera with another shield token on the back and fighters for freedom so those are my hyperspace ones there got my foils over here and let's take a look at my legendaries so avenger imperial capital ship super laser blast foiled that might go in the pile for favorite pulls we have cunning featuring a young han solo legendary and devastator an imperial capital ship so there we go those are the sort of most high value pulls so now we can take a look at my personal favorites foil super laser blast hyperspace layer leader you're my only hope in foil the full hyperspace foil frontline shuttle that is a rare I love how rainbowed this card looks the Aiden Verzio leader card that is a rare I'm just super excited to be able to have her for my deck and Emperor Palpatine as a rare hyperspace leader card so I don't know that's a tough choice I don't know what would you pick as your favorite there's something about the super laser blast that is just hilarious defeat all units and it's a foiled legendary that's kind of just really fun and I love the fact that I have a hyperspace layer leader that one's definitely in contender but I think personally I think one of my favorite cards I know it's only a rare it's not you know that hard to come by but the foiled version of the Princess Leia and R2D2 you're my only hope it's just a bit of a personal favorite because of just my soft spot for anything to do with Princess Leia and I just think it's an absolutely beautiful card I think that that one is really really cool whether or not I actually play it or use it you know part of the fun part of these cards is just how pretty they are you know I've been collecting Star Wars cards like almost my entire life um these are just so pretty so yeah I think that's got to be one of my personal favorites it might not be the rarest or the most powerful in game but I think for me personally that was a real find and I'm very excited to have it in my collection so yeah some really fun pulls and who knows maybe uh, maybe I'll just get that uh, need to go buy another box and, and take another chance at finding some other really fun cards for this game. I am having so much fun with Star Wars Unlimited. We've got some other goodies to unbox on the channel very shortly. And I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in with my family and really trying out our favorite cards and getting a feel for our play styles all together. So there you have it. That was the Star Wars Unlimited booster box of 24 booster packs opened on day one of the launch release here in New Zealand March 8th I had so much fun there were so many amazing cards a lot that I hadn't seen before which is always really fun because then I get to add them to my deck and I can break it down maybe trade with some of my family members if we've got too many doubles and everything like that so exciting Thank you so much for watching. I know this was a bit of a longer video, but I really wanted to go through all of the cards rather than just skipping to the fun, exciting ones at the back of the pack. So thank you so much if you've made it all the way to the end of the video. As I said, I'll put all the graphics about the rarities up on the screen at some point so you can see the breakdown of what I got in my booster box in case you were umming and ahhing about whether you want to jump in and buy a whole box for yourself. Thank you so much again for watching. I had so much fun and I hope you do at least give this game a try. It looks a lot of fun and I'm sure there are, are games and there's even, you know, like local communities and things like that that are really jumping on board with this game. So there you have it. 
do check out our other videos including my earlier Star Wars Unlimited pre-release box unboxing where I unboxed two of the pre-release sets to take a look and see what cards I would get as my very first pulls. We've got lots of other Star Wars unboxings and all good stuff on this channel so do subscribe if you like having Star Wars fun like we do. Thank you so much for watching, catch you in the next video and as always may the force be with you. If you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a like check out our other videos and subscribe for alerts about new uploads. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you.